Hello viewers, welcome to Elimu TV, your favorite learning station where you always get to watch and learn. Your teacher today is Roger Michira, ready to take you through history, form free, and the topic of discussion is the contribution of the Kenyan leaders, uh, the, the, the lives and contributions of the Kenyan leaders. And so far we have looked at a number of them, and today we are going to look at the, our last subtopic, who is uh, the, top, the subtopic of uh, Wangari Mavai. What, what about his early life? And what are some of his contributions to the Kenyan politics? What are some of his contributions to the activism? Right? Welcome all and let us learn. Now, by the end of the lesson, we need to state the role of Professor Wangari Mavai in active politics and also in active, uh, active, uh, activism. Remember, he was not only a, a politician, but also an activist. Now, what are some of his roles in, in politics and also in activism? Let us get to know who Wangari Mavai is, right? That is Wangari, Wangari Mavai, known as Professor Wangari Mavai. Now, as we progress, we get to see why, 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 why is said that all the photos of, uh, all the images of Wangari, Professor Wangari Mavai, always she must be holding a green, a green plant. Why? We get to look at that. Why is she known as that? Now, Wangari Mavai was born in a village in Yeri County, right, on April 1st, 1940. And in 1943, Wangari, Wangari's family relocated to a white-owned farm near Nakuru in the Rift Valley where he fa the father worked. Remember, in Rift Valley, in Nakuru specifically, that is where we had the white settlement. Now, that forced the Wangari's family, that's the father, they moved, uh, they relocated to Nakuru where the father worked in the white settlement farms. Now, she enrolled in the Hite uh, Primary School in 1951, whereby she proceeded to St. Cecilia Intermediate Primary School at Madari Catholic Mission in Nyeri. And again, we, we have to note that uh, in, 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 the, in, the Catholic, in the Catholic mission in Nyeri, that is Mathari, Wangari was baptized and she was a Catholic. Now she later joined Loreto Convent, which is a high school, Limuru, in the year 1956, right? So after, after, uh, after the Mathari Catholic mission, uh, mission, mission school, she, she joined Limuru, Loreto, that is a Loreto High School in Limuru in the year 1956. Then she, she joined St. Scholastica College in Axon, Kansas. That is when he went for his uh, higher, higher studies. She graduated in 1964 with a Bachelor of Science in Biology and proceeded to the university with a master's degree in Biological Sciences in 1966. So that is his professorship. Um, she, she didn't just acquire recently. It can be dated back to 1966. Now, after we have looked at his early life, the, the, the early life of Wangari Madai, can I get to the activism and his political life? Now, in the year 1971, she joined the Kenya Red Cross, where she became the director in 1973. Then in 1973, she joined Kenya Red Cross, where she was the director. And also, in, the, in, the, in, the 19, in 1974, she joined the Environment Liaison Center, where she became the chairperson of the board, right? That is the Environment Liaison that deals with environment, right? Where she became the chairperson of the board. And also, that is the symbol of the Kenya Red, uh, uh, Red Cross, right? Well known. When you, when you see that sample, get to know that that is Kenya Red Cross. Now, she also joined the National Council of Women of Kenya, the NCWK, in the 1970s, where she served a chairperson between 1980 and 1987, right? That is the Kenya Council of Women of Kenya, right? She was the chairperson served from 1980 to 19. 87. And again, in the year 1977, she joined, or rather she founded the Green Belt Movement. It is well known, the Green Belt Movement for Environment Degradation, right? She's the co-founder of the Green Belt Movement, right? Whenever we get to see that sample is for the Kenya and the Green Belt Movement, whereby he wanted to make Kenya a green country. He was against environmental degradation. That is where you see he, uh, she planted she planted a number of trees during that time. Yes, that's the Green Belt movement. And and the second image you can see there. This is when they were they were against the construction of storage facilities in the in, in now the current Uhuru Park. Right. Remember in those years they wanted to to make uh, Uhuru Park a storage center, whereby storage facilities were to be constructed at Uhuru Park. But again, she was against that. That is when she, she founded the Green Belt Movement. 
right? The green belt movement. And there's this quote of Wangari Madai that says, my, my little uh, thing is planting trees. That is, she's well known of planting trees, right? The trees you see in the recreational centers you see at Uhuru Park, it was courtesy of Professor Wangari Mavai. Now, and again, she joined politics. She joined politics and she was elected the, the, in the ninth parliament as the National Rainbow Coalition candidate represented Tetu constituency. And Tetu constituency is in Nyeri County. Now, between 2003 and 2007, she served as an assistant minister for environment, natural resources, and wildlife, right? Remember, in, 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 in the National Assembly, this, she, she was very known for, for, for this term that I would rather be an MP, I'd rather be an MP for trees. That's what Wangari Marai said, right? You, you, you'd rather make me an MP for trees and then making me an MP of the two constituency. Apart from that, Wangari Madai had a, received a number of, uh, she received a number of uh, awards. She received a number of awards. For example, there is the, the World Citizen Award of 2007. In 2001, she received the, Ju the Juliet Hollist Award. Also, we have got the Petra Kelly Prize Award and the well-known Nobel uh, Prize of uh, the Peace, the Peace Nobel Peace Prize of, uh, of Wangari Mavai. So we have briefly looked at the political career and also his role in activism, the issue of uh, conserving the environment. Now for our assignment, can we get to look at what are some of the awards that were awarded to Professor Wangari Mavai? We have just looked at a few of them, right? Now we'll get to state a number of the awards that were awarded to Professor Wangari Mavai. And for reference, get to refer to Evolve the World, History and Government, from Free Oxford University Press, the seventh edition. And as always, the session you're watching is LM TV, your favorite learning station where we all get to watch and learn.